All right, guys, welcome back. I'm sure you're here because you want to do some widgets with iOS 14. So first, iOS 14 downloaded, then Color Widgets, Fonto, and Widgetsmith. Next, you're gonna go to Color Widgets, and you're gonna pick one of the ones that appeals to you. Uh, they're small, medium, or large. Um, you can change the colors, the font, dark background, light background, etc. cetera. Um, we're gonna go with pink. So then you're going to go back to your home screen and hold on to a dead space. Um, and in the top left corner, there's going to be a plus symbol. Push add. Go down and you see medium uh, color widgets. So then you pick the one you want. We picked medium. So add that and it will show up onto your home screen. You can rearrange it into any spot you want. Next, scroll over and go back to Widgetsmith. Once you get to Widgetsmith, pick one. I made one of a picture of my daughter. Um, and then hold on to a dead screen. Push the add symbol again. Scroll down and you'll find the one that um, small. So I renamed it so it was easier for me to find. And you'll add that to your screen. Put it in the place you want to put it. And voila, already looking better. So next, uh, I'm going to go and add a um, quote because I already did a quote on the second page. Um, I did a medium and I just found the quote on Pinterest. And look at that, we have two pages now. So the next thing to do is to go to Fonto. Um, and I had, I was already working on one, so um, you're gonna go to this and go to plain images. And then I just picked a color so that we would be able to see it. Um, pick whatever color works for you. So once we got the gray, push use and then Go to add image and Pinterest logo. I didn't like any of those, so I was gonna do a new one. So typed in Pinterest, a PNG, it needs to be a PNG. And then went to the images, picked a photo that I liked and saved it. So after you get it saved, you go to your photos and make sure it's there. Yep, it's there. So now go back to Fonto, wrong one fonto and you're going to push add image and then you're going to save the image so that you can come back and use it and this is to update the um, app itself the image on the app itself so then you're going to go to shortcuts and once you type in shortcuts you're going to click on the pinterest one so i've already made a pinterest one so you're going to see me type pinterest um, or i guess spell pinterest incorrectly because I already made a Pinterest one um, before this video. So don't mind that I spell Pinterest P-I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T. -E -E oh, no, you've already done that. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, just save it as something, whatever you want to call your thing. So then I clicked on it, and I did it wrong because I wasn't supposed to click on it. So go back to shortcuts. When you get to shortcuts, you need to put the three, push the three dots. Um, once you push the three dots, you can push add to home screen. Once you push add to home screen, you click on the little logo, and you can click the logo you just made. I zoomed in, tried to center it the best I could. Uh, that'll work. And then push done. It added it to my home screen. So now I go back to my home screen, edit my home screen, and I'm going to move it over. And you would just do this so on and so on for each app that you wanted to change the logo. So then your whole screen would have different um, logos. That's me just showing that it takes you to Pinterest. Um, so then potentially all your logos could be gray or green or whatever color you want. So then I'm just going to add in my last little widget I made from Widget Smith. Um, it's just another picture of my daughter. Oh, this is how I was showing you how I do the photos. Um, so you just scroll down, click photos, whatever size widget you want. Picked a picture of my daughter, push done, save, and then I, that's my daughter's dad. Um, so then you go and put, scroll down to Widget Smith, go back to find your small, and I know it was number four because it was the one I just made, and there she is. So that's just the basic tutorial on how to get some widgets on your phone and play around with what works best for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Bye.